Well, greetings, Mr. Colazar's class. What we're going to look into now is our last section on predicting chemical reactions. That's going to be our combustion reactions. Now, our combustion reactions, a lot of times we can think about as being fire, or something is going to be burning. In a combustion reaction, we're going to have oxygen combined with a hydrocarbon. Now, remember, hydrocarbons, hydrogen, and carbon are going to be the two primary elements in hydrogen, our hydrocarbons. Now our products are always going to be two, our two ideas. Carbon dioxide, water, and energy, which would be like heat and light, think about fire, is in a complete combustion reaction. And then we're going to have carbon monoxide, water, and energy in an incomplete combustion reaction. So carbon dioxide, CO, two, one carbon, two oxygen, carbon monoxide, CO, one oxygen, one carbon. So remember O2, oxygen is always diatomic, so it's our O2 element, and we'll either have CO2 for complete or CO for our incomplete when it comes to the products being produced. So to look through a couple reactions, uh, first one A is gonna be a complete reaction, B, incomplete. C is going to be one that we're going to talk about uh, using a half when it comes to balancing and then working through there. So our first one is uh, C5H12 plus oxygen. So we've got our combustion reaction, carbon and hydrogen plus oxygen, is going to produce carbon dioxide and H2O. So remember that this one is a complete reaction. So to begin balancing, our carbon, hydrogen, and oxygens, five carbons, 12 hydrogens, two oxygens, two, one carbon, two hydrogens, and two plus one, three total oxygens. So we'll start with balancing the carbons. Five carbons, 10 plus one is 11. Remember, adding those two together, oxygens. 12 hydrogens. 6 times 2, 12 hydrogens, and then 10 plus 6, 16 total oxygens on that side. So 8 times 2, 16 total oxygens on that side in order to balance our chemical reaction out. Now in our second one, B, is an incomplete reaction. Notice in B that carbon monoxide instead of carbon dioxide is one of our products. So in B, C2 plus our C2H2 plus O2. So to balance this one, it produces carbon monoxide and H2O. We start out two carbons, two hydrogens, two oxygens. On the left side, one carbon, one plus one, two oxygens and two hydrogens. So to start out with the balance, Start with balancing those carbons. Goes to two carbons, but now two plus one is three oxygens. Almost balanced there. So we're gonna look over, we have three oxygens on the left, two on the right. So trying to get to that number six was one of our ideas before. So three times two is six. Now to get to six on this side, we've got two and a one here. So if we end up doubling, Four there, we can get four oxygens plus two oxygens to get a six oxygens. That is also changed two to four hydrogens and four carbons. So it's always tricky on figuring out which one we're going to go through. There's a few different ways we could work our way through this one. Now, four carbons, two carbons. Doubling up that side to get us to four carbons, and two times two is four hydrogens, so that we're in the end balanced there. So it's a couple different ways you could go through that one. Uh, that was just shoot our chosen one there, but our carbon monoxide for an incomplete reaction, carbon dioxide for a complete reaction. And then the third one, just to add in, is going to be a half in balancing. 
And so to look at this last one, C4H10 plus O2 produces CO2 and H2O. So this is going to be a complete reaction again. So our carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens, four carbons, 10 hydrogens, two oxygens, one carbon, two hydrogens, two plus one, three oxygens. So four gets us to four, and eight plus one gets us now to nine oxygens. And then hydrogens, five hydrogens, or 10 hydrogens, five times two is 10 hydrogens. And when we look, nine, five, looks at me, five times one is five plus eight gets us to 13 oxygens. Now the question is, what number times two gets us to 13? to get our oxygens to balance, and that number is 6.5. Now remember, we need whole numbers, so you can't have 6.5. So we need to find a number which we can multiply by in order to get us to whole number. And what we can do is anytime you have a half, you can multiply it by two to everyone in order to change that. So there is a one here, so times two, times two, times two, and times two, and by doubling everyone, we can come up with a whole number ratio in which everybody is actually balanced in the end. We would end up with eight, or looks to me, eight, 20, and 26, and on the same side, 8, 16 plus 10, let's see, um, excuse me, let's see here, let me do that right, 20, and 16 plus 10, 26. So we'd be balanced in the end using one that had a half in there. So that completes our combustion reactions and predicting those products either being carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide and water.